So now we will further refine and remove the confusion on the end of the user by introducing another type of uh, data type or control which is enum. Enum. It means uh, when this program will run, what will happen? User will have a drop down menu from which he can select the mathematical operation which he want to perform. So that is something which is more realistic as compared to entering the number. So for example, now what we have, we have first case which is the add and this is the, this is the actual uh, front panel. So we will see what other cases do we have in this case structure by going to the uh, lab view. So, so far what is changed is that, uh, that control which is attached to the condition terminal. Before that it was an integer and before that it was a floating number and now it is a enum. So what is enum? Enum is basically a table in which we have two columns and that table starts from 0 and it goes on like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and you can associate a group of letters against each alphabet. For example, against 0 you can add, you can you can attach add against one you can attach subtract so when the user will select add option what will happen zero will travel out of this enum and then it will goes into the case structure and that zero will be basically uh, the zero case will be executed or the add case will be executed so we will implement that enum based case structure in the lab view so this is the case structure which we developed uh, in what uh, using the integer okay so now we will delete this integer data type and replace it with enum so since enum is a control so we have to go to the front panel we have to right click on the front panel and then this is the category ring and enum we need to select enum out of it so this is the enum we will drag it out of the case structure and attach it with this uh, condition selector, condition terminal. Okay. So now you see what has happened. So everything is changed. But before going into these cases, we will first configure this enum control. We will simple right click, go to the properties and then we will go to the edit items edit items here we have to insert the first row of the table which is zero will travel out of this uh, enum control if you enter add or if you select add subtract is equal to one multiply is equal to two and divide equal to 3 and we don't need any other one okay okay so it means these are the numbers which are associated with these what these uh, words okay so now we'll click on the ok button and see what is happening so there's error selector have wrong values okay that's fine okay so now we have to see uh, that there are some issues for example with the fourth one so we have add we have multiply we have divide first of all we have to check whether they are okay or not add okay this is add everything is okay we have a add function here then we need to go to the multiply okay so here it is written as multiply but this is the uh, subtract function it means the mapping goes wrong so what we have to do we just have to change this multiply with subtract and what else divide this is not divide this is multiply so we just have to enter multiply so when you enter m it will it will actually give you the complete word based on the input of enum chunki humne enum mein we already entered multiply so it will give you an int that since you typed m so you can select the multiply option subtract is okay multiply is okay uh, add is okay and what about the fourth one this is actually divide so when we enter d 
the whole word will appear and you can press enter and then close so now there are no errors okay so now we'll run this program okay so now when i click on this enum which is the mathematical operation selector instead of entering anything 1 2 3 4 or add subtract this is the list which i have so i can select any operation from this list for example multiply and then i enter two numbers and see we can have the result i can change it let me just okay i can change this operation like subtract i can change it to divide i can change it to add anything and i can change the numbers anytime and press enter so this is divide so rest of the vi is exactly the same we are getting the same uh, input we, we have the same inputs we have the same outputs the only thing which is changing is this condition uh, terminal the data type attached with this condition terminal 